welcome back to Last Week Today. My name is Denthew. And I'm Yoshie. And let's start things off this week with some HJ Global News. HJ Global News will highlight the various providential organizations and new projects. This week, HJ Global News highlights the International Association for Parliamentarians for Peace. Visit IPS TV to watch the latest HJ Global News. This last weekend, each region had their own Famicon. So I was actually going through old episodes of Last Week Today, and I came across last year's Famicon episode. Picture this. 5 a.m. in the morning, walking down the road, because my car wouldn't move, because we had eight inches of snow, blizzard everywhere, and getting to Belvedere at 6 a.m. just to just in time to welcome the early members. No matter rain, shy, blizzard, they showed up ready to learn, ready to give, and partake in Famicon. Well, how was it this time? Well, <laughs> I think a big change was that we didn't have it at Belvedere. Um, and so it was a lot more logistically easier. But I think the overall atmosphere was a lot better and higher this year, just with the idea of claiming victory, which wasn't really a thing last year, um, but especially this year, just the importance of all the great things that we've done as America, as a family, as a movement, and just, yeah, how much that we did for the Providence and for True Mother and for God and just how we're going to move forward. And I think it was really beautiful and amazing. And there's a lot of great goals and strategies coming forward. And I look forward to it all. Yeah. Thank you so much to all of the planning teams who pulled off the sub-regional Famicon. You guys are amazing. Especially Isaac Hernandez from the Southwest region who kind of pulled everything off himself apparently. So we've heard. You're welcome to move to sub-region one anytime. We hope everyone feels pumped and excited to give an amazing offering for 2027. Yeah, there are a ton of testimonies from Famicon and also the full report on familyfed.org, so you can check out more there. Now let's move on to some updates. All of True Mother's speeches surrounding the events of Foundation Day are now available at familyfed.org. Also, True Mother made a $250,000 donation last week to the Korean Red Cross to help with COVID-19 recovery efforts. Also to help with recovery efforts, Taegu District Pastor Reverend Jung Dong Won donated $8,000 to the Taegu Namgu Ward Office. Moving to the Northeast region, Dr. Kiyun Kim talked about the next seven years at the weekly Tuesday meeting. If you want to learn more about it, check it out on familyfed.org. Check out Dr. Luan Rouse's Sunday sermon from the Manhattan Family Church. Also another great Sunday sermon to watch is Dr. Kiyun Kim's, which happened last Sunday in Chicago. Also in the Midwest, the Indianapolis Family Church hosted a Divine Principle workshop that included 21 people and four guests. Moving to the Southwest region, Carp Plus Vegas held a retreat where they had 19 participants inviting several guests where they focused on a Hyojung culture with a filial heart. In the West, UPF Hawaii held its third annual Interfaith Harmony Week. You can read these full stories and more on familyfed.org. And of course, if you have anything happening in your community, hit share story. Ah, announcements. UTS will offer its first massive open online course beginning this April. The entire course may be audited for free, and new students to UTS may take this as the first course of 16 courses required for the master's degree for just $300. The course will be taught by Dr. Claude Perrottet, Senior Research Fellow in UT, a published author and a respected authority in online learning. For more information, please contact mooc at uts.edu. There's something deeply spiritual about pulling a fish out of the water from hundreds of feet below the surface. About fighting a king salmon as it strips the line. The ocean is peace, strength, clarity, and power. And there is nowhere more pristine and awe-inspiring than Kodiak, Alaska. You are invited to join participants from around the world for an unforgettable summer. Follow in True Parents' footsteps. Experience firsthand why they love the ocean and fishing. Develop character and confidence through seamanship. Experience the heart of being a steward over this beautiful world and connect to God's love through nature. You'll bring home salmon, halibut, rockfish, and boatloads of awesome experiences to share with friends and family. Our 21-day program runs from July 5th to the 26th, and the 40-day Captains in Training program runs from June 23rd to August 1st. Open to young adults aged 16 to 30. There are only 28 spots, so don't miss this adventure. Register today at oceanchallenge.org. That's all for this week. I hope you have a wonderful next week. And of course, God bless. And let's start things off this week 
with some HJ Global News. Yay. Welcome back to Last Week Today. My name is Dan here. And I'm Yoshi. Let's start things off with some and HJ Global I'm News. And I'm Are we saying that? We gotta get a shot of you with those, those amazing Terminator glasses on. Visit IPS TV to watch the latest HJ Global News. You guys are so blurry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Subregions held their regional Famicons this last weekend. Hundreds and hundreds of unifications. Now let's move on to some updates. Starting with international. In Korea, True Mother spoke in Korean. <laughs> That's all she Also, True Mother made a $250 donation. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's been great. <laughs> True Mother's really making big moves out here, saving the world one step at a time. Also, True Mother made a donation. <laughs> so this is a friendly reminder for all of you to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, even though that is a short period of time. Be sure to also cough into your armpit. Ugh, phone. Oh, wait. That's your Bye. elbow. <laughs> comments. <Lala. Stop. laughs> I don't oh, like okay. comments on phones. This is not a good system. Also, um, try to get out of all work and school because, as we all know, that's where the coronavirus spreads the most. Try to avoid all large gatherings such as the 24 Plus Workshop and the Chosen Workshop happening in Las Vegas. But be sure to sign up now. Moving to the Southwest region. <coughs> sorry. And that's all for this week. Blah, 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 blah.